This is where magic happens. In this spectacular setting, the Grange Festival has earned a well-deserved reputation for staging bold, beautiful, memorable operas. But this year, some of the biggest stars of the opera world will gather here on stage for their most courageous challenge yet. Shakespeare's King Lear, and they're not going to sing a single note. Well, some would say this is a crazy project. Others would call it immensely courageous. I'm going to go down that, that route, <laughs> but I'd love to hear how it came about, this idea of the three of you, who we know and associate with great singing roles, playing straight Shakespeare. I mean, John Tom, you are going to be playing Lear. Yes, I am indeed. How did it come about? Keith Warner, the director, was pivotal in this. I sang Wotan for many years, of course, and uh, in Siegfried, the Wanderer, uh, Wotan in his last days, weeks, hours, of his life is very much in the same world as King Lear. And Keith Warner, the director, I think it inspired him to some extent to say to me, really, we must do King Lear. And Kim, was this something that you always wanted to get your teeth into as soon as the idea was mooted? I hated the concept that opera singers were just fat people who, who couldn't act. <laughs> um, you know, and then Lear became an obvious choice in terms of the music that exists in the text and we thought that you know we could bring something to that. I mean are you looking forward to it sir? Cannot wait it's going to be a different thing I mean the last time I acted was straight acting was at school you know. What we're doing is experimental it's a very adventurous thing the absence of music in particular. It's interesting what you say there I mean yes you won't have a conductor telling you how fast to go. No. Exactly. I mean you know and that's... there are no bar lines yeah. and there are no instructions to get louder or softer or mm. you know you, you can sit and you can say a speech and then you can think all right I'm going to turn that on its head and I'm going to say it in a completely different way whereas with the music you are you are governed by what the composer has requested but with this it got that freedom. It's interesting that you were saying earlier about the inherent musicality of the Shakespeare text particularly perhaps in this play I mean do you want to just expand on that a little bit and how you guys are going to bring something to the performance that possibly non-singers just wouldn't even begin to think of? It seems to me that the physicality is very similar to the use of the abdominal muscles and the diaphragmatic muscles and the projection of an opera singer. But I think the phrase is really important. That's to do with the expression, it's to, to do with the emotional quality, the bodily sense behind it, the expression of the whole thing. And uh, I think that's something very much that we can bring. Yeah. It's interesting because my husband in real life is playing my husband in the <laughs> piece. We've been practicing together and actually, it's, it's become quite domestic the way we're talking to each other, you know, and he'll walk into the kitchen in the morning and go, oh, Goneril, you know, <laughs> and straight at me. And it's, um, yeah, it's interesting to see how you can make those relationships very normal, normalised. It's all in the text, the punctuation, the phrasing, and of course, the dreaded iambic pentameter. It's like a piece of music. It's, got, it's all there. Talking of the music, of course, people who might be coming along to this to see their operatic uh, you know, heroes and heroines. It's not true that there'll be no music. There is some music involved. Tell us a little bit about that. There's going to be yes. a soundscape, I think, yeah, using, Nigel, using Nigel, human um, voices. Nigel Osborne, Nigel Osborne. Osborne is, is working is on, the composer on, working on that. that. The only character, of course, in the play who sings is the fool. So I thought I might introduce a bit of singing myself. <laughs> yeah, well, you, yeah quick, you would. A quick liberal. <laughs> you can't keep a good man down. There's some lines which it's very hard not to sing. When the rain came to wet me once and the wind to make me chatter, mm -hmm. when the thunder would not peace at my bidding, there I found him, there I smelt him out. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, one thing we haven't talked about is the space, this beautiful theatre that we're in here at the Grange Festival. It's, it's not a huge theatre. You're going to be really quite close to your audience for this, for this wonderful new experiment. How do you feel about that? The size of this theatre, the intimacy, is, is, is wonderful for us. What I love about it is that it has a feel of the, the old Shakespeare Globe about it, mm -hmm. which was deliberately built in that form so that nobody was too far away from the stage. It's going to really, Perfect. I think, affect how we perform as well, because you feel the energy of an audience and there's almost like a game of invisible ping pong that happens, that they sort of give you give you energy and then you think okay well I can maybe I can I can play with that colour now. I think this is going to be fascinating. Do you think it's going to lead to other stuff? Do you think can you imagine now after this experience thinking there are some links with works you've done before 
won't. I, I do you think that might that's happen? That's a great idea, yeah. And also try and persuade the, the public that we're not an elitist art form, that we're as close to straight theatre as, as you could be. It's a wonderful opportunity to do something that perhaps we've always quite mm. secretly fancied having a go, you know, I'm having a bit a young try for the part. It. Yes, of course, yes. But I should be. You'll grow I into it, be. John, but, you know... Um, <laughs> And if you, had to, if you had to just sort of sum up for the audience watching this to why they should come along and to take this opportunity to see you guys playing uh, Shakespeare straight. It's an adventure yeah. for come us. And, come it's and an come adventure the for ride. them. Come on, it's, the ride. come on the ride. It's with something us. new. Yeah. It's an experimental. It's yes. never been done before. <laughs> well, listen, thank you so much and I wish you all the best for it. And, thank uh, you. Yeah, can't wait. <laughs>